Hi everyone, welcome to another video with Wayduino. Today we're going to be building this button counter with the four digit seven segment display going all the way up until 9999. And so with that, let's hop in. So if you saw my previous video, we worked with the four digit seven segment display and how to display things um, and its complexity with displaying four distinct numbers as opposed to one, like the regular seven segment display. So what we're doing with this is we want to add a button that is able to communicate with the Arduino in order to update the score in real time. So if you just a refresher from the previous video, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, basically the seven segment display has 12 pins, six on each side, and each of these numbers can be displayed using a library that we'll talk about later. So now let's get into the actual wiring diagram. All right, so here's our wiring diagram. You can see that we didn't add a lot, but we just added a push button that we're gonna use for our logic to update our four digit seven segment display in real time. So essentially when you click the button, the four digit seven segment will change. We have connections to the ground and to A0. Um, what you could technically do is connect this to a positive or negative railing and then connect it to the ground. But in this case, since we're only dealing with one button, it makes it a lot more efficient and easier to visualize. So with that, let's get into the actual code. So even though this code looks like it's a lot, um, it can be kind of simplified, um, even for a project that just has one button. So essentially, um, a lot of it is repeats from our past videos. So we have the seven segment dot H library. If you're familiar and you watched uh, some of my previous videos, you know that this library helps to initialize the four digit seven segment display. Um, so we're initial setting a bunch of initialization statements. You can see in this case, we're using the button equals a zero and you can see that reflects true in our connection from the pins to the actual segments on the seven segment display. We have a debounce timer. We're going to talk about this a little bit later when it gets to that segment of the code. And we're setting a few initialization statements. Serial.begin9600 allows us to um, work with the serial monitor. So let's say you wanted to display a number or something. Um, this is how you would do it using the serial monitor. We have the number of digits, um, the digit pins and the segment pins, basically just initializing it so that um, they correspond um, accurately. And then if we look at this, this is a repeat from our previous video with the seven segment dot H library, um, the four digit seven segment display. This allows us to, to um, set the numbers and update them. So you can change, you can uh, fiddle around with these things. And yeah, you, you should probably copy down these values because they're important. Um, there should be in a strict um, exact way that they're organized. Um, we also want to make sure that we analyze the button pins, making sure that we can tell when they're up or when they're down, um, hence meaning if they're pressed or not pressed. And obviously when we're pressing the button, we want to make sure that the score updates or do what we program it to do. So for this case, when a button is pressed, we want the seven segment to display to update plus one or plus two, whatever we want. We want to, this is super important because it allows us to look at the button and adjust accordingly, right? So if you hold the button maybe for like a second, we only want that one press of the button to increment our score by one. But if we hold it for a little bit longer, that might not be the case. So what we do is we Im implement a debounce timer, which basically checks, um, basically in a simplified way, checks when you press the button and does and only adds one per one press. So if you press the button once, it will update the button once instead of maybe going crazy and adding a few more points than should have been because the Arduino detects that it's still pressed. So we want to also update the button state, make sure that we're always looking to see if the button is pressed or not pressed. And when it's pressed, adjust accordingly. When it's not pressed, um, don't do as stated in the code. We want to update the last button state to explain 
or um, keep track of the, I guess, record of when it's pressed, when it's not pressed, so that, um, like, as I said before, if it's not pressed and you press the button, that would indicate that you need to follow this plus one score. Um, if it's still pressed down, then we don't want to do that. And um, this is actually in such a better simplified manner that we're able to update the score regularly. So the seven segmenth library, you can see over here, allows us to do that easily by setting a number score and then refreshing the display. Um, let's say you press a button and then you press it again, press it three times. Um, that should all display accordingly once you press the button as opposed to keeping that information and then updating them all at once. So essentially, this code helps to update the seven segment display, the four digit seven segment display in real time using relying on the information from the button that we established before. All right, so with that, that's going to be today's video. Today we learned how to create a four digit seven segment display with the button to update in real time. And maybe you can apply this to any of the other displays that you create using this push button since it's essentially the same logic connecting it to the digital and to the pins so with that thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe um please stay tuned as i'll be posting more more creative projects more shorts more creative things that might be of interest so with that thank you for watching today's video and